Good morning, hope you're having an amazing day. It's Mark Weens, I'm in Kerala on the Malabar coast in South India. And it is now, it's 3.55 a.m. Today we have the special opportunity to go first to a housewarming event where they are preparing a pot of Kerala local style biryani for a thousand people. And so we're gonna see the amazing preparation in this video. I'm gonna share with you the cooking, the food, the amazing culture of them along the Malabar coast in Kerala, India. Morning. In Malabar region means we get plenty of food varieties. It's the food capital of Kerala. Awesome. Actually, the four districts of Kerala, the northern districts of Kerala, starting from Kasagod, Kannur, Korikod, and Malapuram. These are the Malabar regions of Kerala. So we are going to enjoy. We're going for the house farming, beautiful food, and nice people. And we are invited today to a housewarming party. Uh, we're gonna see the cooking preparation. It's just gonna be like, Unbelievable. Okay, so we're rolling in. It's 4 a.m. It is quiet, but you can see they have the tents set up and the cooks, the cooking team should be here and ready, ready to start right at 4 a.m. Ah, nothing like arriving fresh in the morning. Yes. It's 4 o'clock in the morning and they have already started the preparation. Yes. The main event of the day is the biryani. Um, a Kerala local style biryani, chicken biryani. They have 180 kilos of chicken and now he's just loading up just onions. They're so fragrant, chopped up onions. It must have taken hours to chop up those onions. They've been working actually since last night. Starting the preparation of chicken biryani. Green chilies, tomatoes, all will be there. The aroma of these onions is just like it's, it's like powering my nostrils right now. I can't wait to see this entire process. And this is amazing. Oh, there goes in the ginger garlic paste. Yeah. Uh, this is only ginger. Oh, uh, ginger paste, okay. Yeah, yeah. Ginger alone. <laughs> That's like, <laughs> it's like 20 kilos of garlic. Chilies. Oh wow. Just green chilies. Like shovels full of green chilies. It's so fragrant now with mixing with that ginger paste, the garlic paste, the onions, the chilies. Tomatoes. Oh, tomatoes are coming in. The good thing is we have two pots. Like we're just running <laughs> back and forth from pot to pot. Tomatoes go in. So they're really like layering the ingredients right now. This is Kannur biryani, we can say Malabar biryani. Okay. So comparing to North Indian biryanis or Hyderabadi biryanis, it is slightly different. Okay. Very much different. Very different, right? I, I already want to start stuffing myself with the raw ingredients. They smell so good. Those chilies. And now they're getting ready to add the spices, the turmeric, a whole bag of turmeric. So this is like step number one. I think they're getting ready to light the fire. Yes, they are. Lid goes onto the biryani and they lit the fire. They're burning all wood and also coconut husk. And so now they're just fueling the fire, kindling the fire. They're gonna let that burn. They're like, this is the first step. They're gonna let that cook the chicken, mingle down with those chilies, the tomatoes, the onions. And all the, the only spice that they added so far is turmeric, the only dry spice. Uh, but they are gonna, again, they're gonna load up the spices later. Um, but first, this is gonna cook. This is gonna mingle. This is the first process. Something quickly I wanted to show you, and he actually just finished it, just wiped it all up, but before, this is hot water boiling. On top of the lid of the hot water, he had all the dry spices, all of the dry spices um, on top of there, so he was gonna move out of the, the smoke uh, so that they continually dried out. I saw cardamom, uh, jeera, the cumin, and a bunch of spices all drying on top of that lid. Oh, now he's blending them up. 
This is the masala mix, right? Ah, uh, garam masala. Garam masala. Freshly ground garam masala. The spices, the cinnamon, the cardamom, the jira in there. It smells so good. And then again, yeah, how he, he freshly toasted them on top of the lid of the hot water. In, in addition to the biryani, also on the menu is chicken fry. And so they loaded up some baskets of chicken. He added in the spices, a bunch of ginger garlic paste, a bunch of chili powder. Vinegar. Oh, this is vinegar. okay. Oh, vinegar. So into the chicken goes a bunch of vinegar and also lime juice and he's just stirring that around and that's just going to be the marinade. That's going to marinate for I think five hours or so until 11 a.m. when they fry it. You'll notice that you'll see that's amazing is that there's no recipes used. It's all knowledge. It's all experience. It's all just a a ratios it's it's about knowing your ratios it's about it's just about experience and these guys have probably been cooking all of their their entire lives they know what they're doing without even thinking about it and it's just a uh, it's knowledge the knowledge of cooking not only cooking but cooking for large amounts of people uh, which is a skill because this is a housewarming event and we're actually at the new house, we're gonna meet the... Let me the introduce the house owner. Thank you very much. This is Mr. Nasser. Nasser. Mr. Nasser. Yeah, uh, this house, he has constructed this house and wow. we are going to have that. Thank you very much. It's, uh, it's an honor for us to be here today. Thank you. Thank you. Especially along the Malabar coast in this region of northern Kerala, a uh, housewarming Feasts and events are very, it's, it's a very important part of the culture when you get a new house. It's especially when you construct a house or when you buy a new house. Either one. Either, or especially, either, either, one. either one. Either one. But when your your family gets a new house. Yeah. Gets a new house, you're going to stay in that house. And you're going to stay. So it's, it's, it's like a symbol of blessing. Yeah. It's, it's a like symbol of... Just welcoming with the, with the prayers we are going inside. That's ah. it. This is really the event which then is celebrated later with the food. Right at the morning call of prayer, right? Yeah. Which today is 5.07 a.m. Uh, the family gathers and they pray on all corners of the house. All the four corners all of the house. All four corners of the house. And then enter the house to also pray to yeah. bless the house. Yeah. Um, uh, and that's, that's a, that's a, uh, this is the holy ceremony now. The holy ceremony. This is the most important yeah. event yeah. of the housewarming. And what's also important to note is that this family is Muslim, but all religions from this area also have a similar housewarming just with their own religious beliefs. It's also a huge honor that the family has allowed us to be here to watch, to even do some filming. Um, it's really a privilege. The main procedure is that they boil the milk um, and when the milk overflows, um, it's a sweet milk, then people drink it and that's a sign, it's a symbol of prosperity, of the community and family and friends joining in on the happiness and the joy that a new house brings. Those are ovary eggs, right? Run back to the kitchen and they're just making, finishing off the breakfast curry, which is, I've never seen that many ovary eggs. That was an entire pan of ovary eggs he put in. Uh, but later, before, previously, they had simmered down onions, tomatoes, and chilies, I believe, and also some ginger garlic paste. Um, that's the breakfast curry, really fast. We've been watching them cook, ah. the team of chefs, but we're just gonna introduce Hi. and we're gonna meet officially the head chef. He's yeah. the man in charge. Salim Ika. Yes. His name is Salim Ika. Salim Ika. Salim, his name, Ika means elder brother. Ah, okay, okay. And how long, how long has he been cooking? How long has it's he been cooking? Like, 47 years of cooking experience. Wow. 
Wow, that is awesome. 47 years, so I'm sure he was a child when he started cooking. Yeah. <laughs> without and, a doubt. Without and a doubt. here, in this region, uh, he is a major person. Okay. Any of these functions, especially when biryani comes, uh -huh. his name comes. He's the man. He is the man that is. So it is, again, an honor to be here to taste his cooking, to watch him as he cooks. Thank you very much. What is this one called? Mutapam. Mutapam. Banana? Oh no, no banana in this one, you? Mm. But, oh yeah, you do taste like the, the essence of banana, but the like, texture of that is incredible. Mm. Okay. We'll come back. Bye bye. Where are, we, where are we walking to right now? We are walking to the town to get the best mutapam. The best mutapam, okay. And available early in the morning, right? Yeah, it starts at 5 o'clock soon after when people come after the prayer. Okay. They go there, eat the mutapam with the tea. Awesome. <laughs> the regular process like that goes Very on. Very cool. Since we happen to be awake at this time and we're in the middle of the city, uh, we've decided to walk out and I think it's actually what we just ate. <laughs> okay. Dying in it. True pro move. Mm. <laughs> Take one of them and the chai, the milk tea. Oh. Mm -hmm. A taste of tea with the sponginess of okay, well. These ones are amazingly like hollow on the inside. Mm. <laughs> Morning snack. Back from the morning snack, the ovary, egg ovary curry. It's boiling away, it's almost getting ready. You can see the bubbles of red oil just going in. It's so, it smells so good. So he pulled the lids now off on the chicken that's been cooking probably for about an hour and a half or two hours now um, and stirring that around with the shovel. But the aromas coming out of it, the spices, the tomatoes and the chilies and the onions have simmered down um, and again, his expertise, no recipe, no time. And even he, we were trying to ask him like, what time will they add the rice? What time will they assemble? He said he didn't know exactly because it depends on the fire. It depends on his instinct when that happens. And it's all done by instinct, by experience. <laughs> So they boiled down the chicken in only two pots, but now they're transferring over to, there's gonna be three pots of biryani. Four. Four. <laughs> Just for boiling alone, they used two. Okay, to condense two them yeah. and to do it all in only two pots, but now they're transferring it, they're divvying it out, the ratios for four pots, massive pots of biryani. Oh, the ginger, that is like straight up ginger, ginger garlic steam. Did you drink it? Don't biryani masala. Okay. This is the garam masala or biryani, biryani masala? Yes. Yes. Oh, and cashews. And into the biryani go fried onions and cashews as well. Onions. <laughs> Onion fry. Wow. <laughs> oh, things just things just cannot get better. This is the chicken parts curry. You just took a fistful of onions fry, fried caramelized onions. Ah. Into the chicken parts curry. Oh, it smells so good. No, this is the first bag of rice now. Like... 
And this is the way you wash 50 kilos of rice at one time. And he's just kind of to get all that starch out to wash it to get that um, starch out to, to clean it. Pure ghee. Because they will roast the rice in the ghee. Wow. And then they will boil it. And they'll add water and they'll yeah. ah. few fistfuls of curry leaves go in and he added in a whole bag of rock salt as well. kilos of rice goes in and this is only like one batch of the rice um, and then they, now he immediately just starts sloshing that around a jacuzzi of rice and ghee and curry leaves and he's just like mixing that with the shot he's shoveling it around so they just simmer that rice only for about 15 minutes they said in about 15 minutes and they're gonna transfer that rice just the lightly cooked rice in the ghee and the curry leaves over to the pans of chicken which have been simmering, or simmering already for hours. Action time. Oh, that's steam. Fresh rice. Yeah. And that rice aroma mixing with the spices. Here comes another basket. Oh wow, that is incredible. <laughs> that is so much steam and smoke. Woo, this is awesome. Loving every second of this. Even though my eyes are stinging. <laughs> <laughs> How are your eyes? But, I mean, but it's, the, <laughs> but it's an experience, no? Oh, it's so worth it. Yeah. Oh. An active volcano. <laughs> He sprinkled it with caramelized onions and then just patted down. You could see the entire blob of rice just kind of wiggle. And then he poked holes in it for ventilation and now he's adding coriander on top. I've seen them do this with biryani, put coals on top, but I didn't know why. I thought it was always to like bake the biryani, so like heat is coming from all directions. But to put on the lid, they add coals, burning coal embers to the top. And Eben was just explaining to me the reason they do that is to uh, prevent the condensation. So as it heats, with the lid on, uh, uh, condensation would, would rise and turn to water, and that would spoil the biryani. The, the, the rice would get mushy which you don't want, so they put heat there, which prevents the condensation. That's incredible. This is the payasam is ready now. They added in condensed milk, they added in the milk, they added in rice, they added in the spices. They also the ghee simmered um, fried cashews and raisins. Wow. Yeah, that is rich. That's sweet. That is rice pudding. Oh, it's, it's awesomely good though. You taste that essence of the cardamom, the vanilla, 
the raisins, the cashew, the ghee in there. Everything is present. Do you want some payasam? No. <laughs> Do you like it? <laughs> Why not? She actually loves it. She's like, mm. She's extremely strong. Thank you. Do you think my fingers? Yes. yes part, thank you. I think we'll start with string hopper. Okay. Am I right? Good. I got you. Thank you, Erin. The perfect spoon for this. Thank you. Oh, okay, I'll, I'll save one side. So the uh, Ebin just dished us out. This is the chicken parts curry that we saw them making. Um, some of the ovary eggs. There's some wobbly bits. There, it's all the parts of the chicken, all the innards, and that just smells unbelievable. The local name is Idi Apam. Idi Apam. That's a Kerala like mainstay, right? Yeah. Oh wow. Oh, the taste of that. It has like this sour lime taste. Oh, but the ginger and garlic, you're right. It's like the ginger garlic paste in there is so well pronounced. You'd immediately taste the spice in there. The egg, it has like a completely different texture, the yolk. That chicken gravy, though, is just insane. The combination of ginger and garlic just like, it's like, it's at the top. I'm happy to report the chicken parts curry is just out of this world. It's so flavorful. <laughs> mm, mm -hmm, mm. And the vegetable stew is incredible too. Mm. You really taste the cinnamon. Yeah. The cinnamon cardamom in there with the coconut milk, with the mix of like vegetables that just like disintegrates the extraordinary. Yeah. On the chili as well. Hmm? Yes, definitely. Oh yeah. What a combination. Perfect breakfast. Mm-hmm. Mm, what a breakfast. I have a new found appreciation for chicken parts curry. <laughs> what? What a breakfast curry. It's 8.30 a.m., so we've been here since 4 a.m. We've been here four and a half hours watching them cook, uh, but then the food and the biryani is gonna be ready in another four hours at about noon. Um, so that's when the guests will come. That's when the guests will come for the main feast. So we're gonna be back. We're gonna go walk around. We're gonna do some other stuff, and then we'll be back in four hours for the feast, the biryani feast. later now the time is 1 p.m. exactly 1 p.m. Uh, the celebration has begun they've already opened one of the pots of biryani but there's still three four more um, people are starting to gather people are starting to eat that smells unbelievable the rice the chicken the spices have entered the ghee in there um, and so they're dishing it out by the bowlful but you can just sense you can feel the aroma Oh my god, that, that aroma. So that was like 15 minutes. The first pot is done. They opened a fresh pot. Um, just that poof of aroma, the steam, the aroma, the onions, the, the spices in there. And Evan was just telling me, they have the four pots, yeah. but now they're they're thinking that it might not be enough for the amount of guests because guests might even like rise, right? Yeah. More and more people might more come. People Maybe two thousand people will come, um, and so they might need to make another, start making at least another, one another, at another, least one. at least one more pan. Just completely drenched. You could wring my shirt out like a towel. Um, we are on our way to go eat now. We're gonna find a table like in the other side where the light is not quite so blue. Yes. <laughs> You'll find this. Okay. This is the perfect place for us to dine. It's perfect. Oh, Especially thank dish. you. Full masala and chicken fry. Okay. Thank you. Thank you so much, man. You're welcome. <laughs> they kindly went through the line for us, got us big 
plates of the biryani, that mix. You can see the rice, the fried chicken fry, and some of the chutney, some of the yogurt. And so do you normally mix the rice with the chicken or how would you? Yeah, the masala, we can mix, mix the masala with okay. the rice. You can see like this. You can take this masala so we can mix it. With the, and, some of the drier rice. Yeah. And you can just feel rice. like the oils and the juices and the yeah. ghee in your fingertips. Yes. <laughs> mm. Mm. Oh, wow. The best biryani you will get from wedding parties or like this housewarming parties like that. Like the richness of it. Yeah. <laughs> the flavor. It the tastes like melted flavor. chicken. It's just like melted into the rice. The spices are like mellow, but yeah. like you can taste everything from yeah. the tomatoes to the onions to the chilies. It's not hot. And it, you're right. It's you, the flavor. Exactly. And you told me that the rice would melt in your mouth. Yeah. That melts in your mouth. Like, oh man, the flavor. It's so fragrant. This one is a pickle? Yeah. Okay. And you eat it with the rice or just on its own? You can either eat with the rice or you can just put it directly. Okay. Not so hot pickle. Oh, I love it. Oh. It's like very, very tangy. Yeah. And a little bit sweet bit and sweet. sour. Eaten by around 4 o'clock we were here. And All they right. had already been working for yeah. 12 hours. They had already been working for 12 hours 12 by the time yeah. we came at 4 a.m. And But the result? The reward of all that hard work. There's 1,500 Bless. very happy people. Bless. And more, more I had to come. And even more. And an entire just like blessing of the home, blessing of the friends and family. Yes. So it's, it's actually like a major honor to be here. Thank you to everyone involved. Thank you to the owner of the home for inviting us as well. And thank you, man, for arranging everything. Yes. Russian. No okay, man. Mm. I I can't even take a break to to do anything. <laughs> it's too good. Since we're we've been standing next to a, a rickshaw the entire time, there's something I've never done before. Okay. Oh. Yes. Oh, that's like a bucket seat. Oh yes. A housewarming biryani in the driver's seat of an auto rickshaw. For my last few bites. Look, this plate went down so fast, but I've savored every single bite. This is one of the best plates of biryani I think I've ever had. Unbelievable flavor, unbelievable balance, just outstanding everything and the texture, the flavor. Evan, what is it? Oh, this is Karingali Willam which means uh, a special tree oh, bark. Man. Thank you, Evan. The boiled water with that tree bark. And what is it called? Karingali. Karingali. With biryani, either we take this or lime tea. Ah, okay. Or okay. maybe black tea. And it washes down the yeah, oils, exactly. the, the Because juices. the biryani is so rich. But this one is a natural, made from, a drink made from boiled the bark. Tree bark. Tree awesome. Bark. So, uh, Kerala is a land of Ayurveda. So we depend on many herbs. Uh, yeah, tree gonna, box like that. I'm gonna step out of the, the rickshaw. <laughs> and so this is what you drink. Oh, <laughs> thank you, thank you, sir. Oh my gosh. Mm, too awesome. Are you kidding? Thank you very much. And he says thank you. That's how nice he is. He said thank you. What a man. getting out of his Everybody say thank you for thank allowing you. us to sit yes. on, his, on shotgun yeah. to enjoy the biryani. Uh, he said no. I didn't enjoy the biryani. What do you want me to do? How are you doing this? Bye bye, thank you. Okay. Bye bye. Are you kidding? <laughs> Oh, that was, that was See you later. I almost, oh, I'm in a, I'm in that stage of biryani where I'm, where just everything is funny and everything is, everything. I'm, I'm not fully conscious. <laughs> It's just like water, yeah, but with a little bit of a earthy taste to it. Mm. And yeah, it's, it's just, they just call it like bark water. And so it helps you digest.
I am happy, I am full, and again, it was an honor, it was a privilege to be invited to this housewarming party, and I wish the family the entire best. <laughs> and everybody here as well. We've been received, the hospi hospitality <laughs> has just been incredible on another level. And the biryani, uh, my biryani regards to Chef some. Salman. Some. Oh, did you eat payasam? Yes. <laughs> okay, how was it? <laughs> awesome. But my regards to head Chef Salman, he is just a genius of a chef and they said he's the best chef in Kanur. Um, in Salim's house, oh. near. Oh, you stay near Salim's yes. house, the chef? Yes. Oh, cool, so you eat well. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Thank you so much Thank for arranging this, for sending this up, for your amazing hospitality. Thank you. Um, I want to say a big shout out to Seashell uh, Harris Beach Home. That's uh, Roshin, is, it's his, his place, his family uh, beach house. And if you're ever in Kanur, it is the place to stay. They're so kind, they're so generous. Um, and that's going to be it for this video, this housewarming party in Kanur on the northern Malabar coast in Kerala. Award winning, award winning. Um, and if you haven't seen all the videos in this Kerala India food series, I'll have the link in the description box that you can check out. I want to say big thank you for watching. Please give this video a thumbs up and I will see you on the next video. Bye bye. bye. <laughs>